what's up guys over here i have a brand new redmi watch 3 active and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to connect and set it up with your phone now in addition to that i'm going to be showing you some of the interesting features that come with the redmi watch 3 active take for instance you're going to learn how to make and receive calls with your redmi watch 3 active be able to set your own custom wallpaper on your redmi watch 3 active and even receive all of your social media notifications like your whatsapp facebook instagram notifications from your phone to your redmi watch 3 active but before we get into all of that let's quickly go ahead and unbox the redmi watch 3 active i have over here so I'll just Now basically these are everything that comes inside of the box with the redmi watch 3 active and so let's just go ahead and turn on the device for the first time so you want to press and hold this power button over here now to set it up you want to make sure you get your phone and then you want to proceed to select your language on the redmi watch 3 active in this case i will go ahead and select english and now you'll be required to scan the QR code on the front of the smartwatch so that you can actually download and install the app that will enable you to set up the smartwatch with your phone. So go ahead and get your phone and then open up the camera app on your phone just like so. Then just place it on top of the QR code and you should be able to scan the QR code. Just click on this and now just open this up on the browser. If your phone cannot scan QR code, you can just download any QR code scanner from the Google Play Store of your phone. Now on the browser, you're going to see over here that this particular smartwatch requires the Mi Fitness app. So you want to go ahead and download it. If you're using an iPhone, you can actually get it from the iOS App Store. But if you're using an Android phone, then you should be able to get it from the Google Play Store as well. In this case, I will just download it directly from the Mi Fitness app over here. Click on the download button and it will actually redirect me to the google play store to get the app so i will just make sure i download and install it directly from here and once the me fitness app is done downloading and installing you want to proceed with the setup process so first things first come over to your phone and then make sure you turn on the bluetooth and service location of your phone so come over to the top notification center of your phone make sure you turn on bluetooth and then make sure you turn on the service location or location of your phone now once you're done you want to just come over here and then open up the app directly from here from the home page over here you just want to click on the start button and now you want to agree to the privacy policy over here so check the two buttons and then just click on agree it will actually assess your location you want to also proceed to select your region by default your region should actually be selected but if it is not correct you want to make sure you select the right region then just make sure you click on the continue button or next button at the bottom over here now proceed to give it all of the permission it needs to work properly on your phone so click on the allow button over here click on ok and once you're done setting up the mi fitness app you want to come over to the devices tab over here so that we can actually pair the mi fitness app with our redmi watch 3 active over here now what you want to do next is to just go ahead and click on the add devices button over here it will actually require you to use your bluetooth so go ahead and click on agree then click on agree Click on allow give it all of the permission it needs and now it is searching for available redmi watch 3 active you can literally see it over here so i'll go ahead and select it just like so but then it is also requiring us to sign up or create a xiaomi account so you want to just click on the sign in button over here now i already have my google account so i'll be signing in with my google account by just checking this button over here and then click on the sign in with google now this will actually use my google account that is already on my phone to sign me into the app and now what i will just do is to go ahead and click on the redmi watch 3 active button over here to select my device go ahead and click on the try again button now it is trying to connect to my redmi watch 3 active and you can literally see the pair button click on check button click on pair now both devices are successfully paired so i'll just click on the next button and then you also want to complete this little setup process again on your Mi Fitness app. So you want to just, first of all, make sure you select custom notification from over here. Then click on next. 
click on OK and then go ahead and locate the Mi Fitness app from the list of devices over here. So I'll just scroll down and then you can literally see the app. I'll select it from over here. Turn on the show notification permission for the Mi Fitness app. This will be very necessary if you want to be able to receive all of your social media notifications from your phone to your Redmi Watch 3 Active. So I'll turn on this permission. Now, this is a little warning, but I can just skip this by just clicking on the OK button at the bottom over here. Check this button, click on OK. Now you want to go back to the Mi Fitness app. So go back to the Mi Fitness app, just like so. Now click on next, click on allow, just give it all of the permission it needs. And once you get to this page, you're good to go. So just click on the done button and then click on continue. And finally, we have successfully connected and paired our Redmi Watch 3 Active over here with our phone. And now that both devices are successfully connected together, as you can see, it is currently showing connected at the top over here. We can now proceed to explaining some of the interesting features that comes with the Redmi Watch 3 Active. But before then, I'll just go ahead and click on the continue button to update the Redmi Watch 3 Active. So there is actually an update. So I'll click on continue. And now to update, I'll just click on the download update button. It is currently updating my Redmi Watch 3 Active and then I'll just go ahead and give it some few seconds for the updates to complete. And once our update is completed, you just want to go ahead and click on the continue button over here. My smartwatch is currently rebooting. So once it reboots, it will automatically connect with the Redmi Watch 3 Active again, as you can see. I will now proceed to show you some of the interesting features you would get when your Redmi Watch 3 Active is connected to your phone. First things first, if you want to be able to receive all of your social media notifications like your WhatsApp, Facebook and other social media notifications from your phone to your Redmi Watch 3 Active, what you want to do is to come over to the notifications and calls feature over here and then you want to go ahead and click on the app notification at the top over here, select that. Make sure that app notifications is turned on and then you also want to make sure you select custom notification from over here then proceed to enable or toggle on the notification button for any of the social media you want to be able to send notifications from your phone to your redmi watch 3 active now let's take for instance if i want my whatsapp notifications i'll go ahead and look for whatsapp from over here and then make sure i toggle on this button once it is turned on you should now be able to receive all of your whatsapp messages and notifications from your phone to your redmi watch 3 active you can go ahead and do this for facebook and other social media apps over here and trust me you're definitely going to be receiving all of your messages and notifications from your phone to your redmi watch 3 active Another interesting feature is the ability for you to set your own custom wallpaper or your own photo as wallpaper on your Redmi Watch 3 Active. To do this, you want to come over to the Manage Watch Faces option over here, select this. And now this is actually going to load all of the watch faces on your Redmi Watch 3 Active. Now from here, you want to click on the All button at the end of this list of apps or apps icon. Click on All. Go ahead and look for the custom option so you can literally see it at the top select this and now finally you want to go ahead and select any of these options so i'll just select the first one album one click on it and then next you want to go ahead and click on the custom photo over here Let's go ahead and look for where you have your photos in my case i have some pictures over here so i'll just select this then go ahead and select this picture as my wallpaper or watch face for my redmi watch 3 active once I select it, you can literally see this is actually how it's going to look like and I can actually customize it or crop it whichever way I want. Then click on the continue button at the bottom. I'll click on apply. Now this is actually going to use Wi-Fi or internet. So make sure you have your Wi-Fi or your data turned on and then click on download. Now it is currently installing my current watch face into my Redmi Watch 3 Active. And just like so, it has now been applied to my Redmi Watch 3 Active and as you can see, it really looks pretty nice as well. Another thing you can actually do with your Redmi Watch 3 Active is to make calls and receive calls. So on your Redmi Watch 3 Active, you can actually come over to the list of apps once you press on this button over here and then just come over to this call icon, select it, and then press on this button to open up the call log. So if I call this number and then click on the green icon over here you're going to see that i should be able to make the call on my phone as well so i can actually just make calls directly from here i can as well go ahead and receive calls from my phone using my redmi watch 3 active as well you also have your call log so you can actually see all of the calls you've made over here with your redmi watch 3 active as well 
if you ever want to be able to set the time on your redmi watch 3 active all you just have to do is to connect it with your phone and it will automatically use the date and time that is set on your phone on the mi fitness app you should also be able to set a pin for your smartwatch so if you come over to the settings and then just scroll down you should be able to find the pin feature that allows you to set a pin for your smartwatch and then restrict other people from ever using your smartwatch without your permission you can as well go ahead and set alarms if you want by simply clicking on the alarm option over here you can click on the plus and then select the time you want for your alarm and then also select how often you want your alarm from over here so how often you want it to repeat every day or you select the days you want it not to repeat Meanwhile, if you ever misplaced your Redmi Watch 3 Active or you misplaced your phone and you have your Redmi Watch 3 Active, you can actually use one device to look for the other. So if you actually swipe over here, click on this phone vibration icon over here, you should be able to find your phone without any issue. So it actually helps your phone to make a noise and then you should be able to find it wherever it is. Now the same thing goes with the Mi Fitness app as well. So with the Mi Fitness app, you should be able to also find your Redmi Watch 3 Active wherever it is if you actually misplace it. Now basically, these are just some of the most interesting features of the Redmi Watch 3 Active when connected with the Mi Fitness app on your phone. If you find this video useful, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one.